Pardon the video quality, my camera's got a broke uh, screen. I'm using my phone. Working on Ford, actually, about the worst to call it, getting ready for the end of the world, which is supposed to be tomorrow. Hmm, yeah, I doubt it. Anyway, my brake lights ain't working again. I did some tracing, I pulled my brake light switch, and it's dark. I have to use this spotlight here. Hopefully you can see a little something. But, uh, yeah, you can't see that thing. You see them wires right there where that's unplugged? Eh, if I can get this to stay turned, I'll show you. There. See them wires right there? It's uh, melted. So, I'm leaving that unplugged. I am uh, running me a new fuse off that fuse panel over there. That top empty slot right there right here next to where my flasher goes but ain't there because that's all shorted out too um i'm running me a wire off that run me a fuse tap or making a fuse tap i didn't have one so here's how you make fuse taps i wouldn't recommend doing this but take you a couple i can't see take you a couple connectors wrap them in tape so that they don't short out together there's your fuse tap. You can take these little, I'm going out here so you can see a little bit. These little straight blade doohickeys here. I don't know what they're called actually. They actually connect into them and uh, you can uh, stick them in just a regular fuse hole and they actually plug in and stay in. So that's what I'm using. Um, I'm running new wire from my brake light switch all the way to the back, all the way to the brake lights. Here's my brake light switch. I double checked it it is still good I pulled it off to check it like I said it's still good so I'm just gonna put me a couple more of them connectors on them two prongs right there one hot one not go into the brake lights and then when it comes hot the brake lights come on went and bought me 30 foot of wire yeah you'd think I'd have this laying on hand as much as I have problems out of this truck anymore but uh, I used all my wire running new turn signals which Damn, you can't see anything. It's too dark. How you like my turn signal switch? Yep, that's my turn signals. Making a left turn. Turn signal off. Making a right turn. Turn signal off. Yeah, I'm going to rewire this whole damn truck before I get done, I bet you. Um, the only thing lighting-wise I haven't touched is the headlights. The dash lights, which are very dim, I need to rewire them anyway. And that interior light right there because it miraculously still works uh, pretty soon I'm changing to a mechanical distributor in this truck and then I'm rewiring the whole thing I'm not wiring a freaking electronic distributor it's just yeah too much work for me so yeah I'm gonna get to work and uh, hopefully I beat the storm and make it worse I'm gonna be doing this in the storm probably uh, I have no antifreeze in this truck. It has just straight water in it, or I should say straight rust in it. I'll pop the hood and show you. So I get to flush my coolant system completely. I needed to flush it anyway. My heater core stopped up. And if you can see anything. Uh, which you can't, but you can look on this, on this cap. And if I can get my camera to focus. You can see that it's covered in nothing but rust. Cooling system's full of rust. Typical, typical Ford for you, especially when you run straight water in them. But it's supposed to get down 24 tomorrow night, so I gotta flush the system. Oh, and yeah, you see my wiring for my turn signals. I had too much wire and I didn't cut it off. I need to cut it off. I'm not gonna worry about it right now though. Um. Yeah, this was like this when I got it. That's my heater. With that unhooked, I have no heater. I've been leaving it hooked up because it's not drawing no, no, not draining my battery or nothing. So I figured just leave it hooked up. It's not fused or nothing. But hell, that wire's thin enough. I think it'll melt before it burns anything up. Uh, heater fan's about shot. The switch is only works on high anyway. So. And I don't have much of a heater. That's why I'm flushing the heater core. I'm thinking it's stopped up. 
smell antifreeze when you turn the heater on, so I figured it'd be stopped up. And yeah, there's that. Ah, you can't see nothing. Never mind. I'll show you more when I can actually get the light out here and show you. But yeah, changing the distributor is what I was trying to show you. Um, I'm cutting this off. I'm going to get the wire in, and I guess I'll show you when I'm done because I ain't got nobody to film for me, and it's a tight spot anyway. So yeah, whatever. You'll. You'll see a little bit of my wires done. You'll see my brake lights on. That's probably about all you'll see. And then you might see me flush the cooling system out. Well, if I can get uh, my wife out here to hold the damn camera. Oh, yeah. Uh, if nobody's heard yet, I got married uh, Sunday. Yeah, got married Sunday. End of the world Friday. Hmm. Figured what the hell. Why not? No, I'm just kidding. Man, Amanda, if you see this, I love you, honey. Uh, yeah, I'm getting to work. I ain't got time to dilly-dally around and fool with the camera, so I'm getting to work.